the security market line doesn't just come out of nowhere. We can, in fact, derive it from the capital market line, which we in turn got from our Markowitz portfolio theory and those assumptions that we made. So let's get into how we do that. Now, first off, let's just have a look again at what the equation is for the capital market line. And take note that the risk-free rate and the rate on the market portfolio, these are all terms that show up in the equation for the security market line. So we're good with those. However, we know that these standard deviation terms do not show up. So we need to change these into something else and make sure that they go away. Now, we'll have a look first at the portfolio, um, the portfolio's variance. So we know that the portfolio standard deviation is going to be equal to the weight indicating the proportion of funds in, um, invested into the market portfolio times the standard deviation of the market portfolio. Because remember back when we did our Markowitz portfolio theory, we showed that the standard deviation of the portfolio of um, the optimal balance portfolio was just um, the weight invested in the risky portfolio multiplied by the standard deviation of the risky portfolio. And now we know that our optimal risky portfolio is our market portfolio. 